Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, once again, back on the tower defense server here on royal.fadecloud.com. IP's on your screen right now, and it's always in the top left of all of my videos. If you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, it does directly support me in the channel. Bro, is this guy good? I think he left his toggle sneak on, brother. Anyways, Java and Bedrock compatible, and I believe this is the fourth episode of the tower defense series, and so far, I did grind a little bit off camera we are at level 60 i failed the netherworld actually once the netherworld is kind of hard right now i can't lie to you but guys i'm recording this intro because if i take a look at the unit summons over here there is a money unit in here and an assassin unit i have been hunting for this assassin unit all of last episode and basically the entire season um there's a buff in there which we already have so if we win a buff unit that would kind of suck but i want the money and i want the assassin so i went ahead got topped off with some clouds whoa i got that sounded crazy crazy um i got some clouds okay and i just hit level 60 so if we do slash bundles guys these slash bundles actually look like you get so much value out of them which is why i bought clouds okay we are going to buy clouds basically or not buy clouds but buy the gems every single 10 levels because it just gives you so much because right there we only spent 2,000 clouds and we got um 12 000 gems if we come over here not even 10 000 gems cost 3 000 clouds in here so we got a great great deal on that and yeah i think that's just the best way to spend my clouds at the moment if i'm going for units so let's come over here we're gonna roll 10 you guys already know what we're trying to get if i see the assassin we are gonna be so set but i do really want that money as well basically you just have to wait for a green uh like little square to pop up for it to be legendary the blues are rares and then like the kind of like brownish ones are just common not anything good and so far we've already used about half hour gems and we haven't gotten um one legendary we got rinsed in the last episode so i was kind of hoping this video went a little bit better but um yeah it doesn't look like it is going to go better. We can't even afford the 10 summons again. So three summons, no legendary there. And then the last one, Um, hang on, waiting for this bang. Nope, no legendary. All right. Well, intro was a little anticlimactic, but uh, we are going to be grinding all the way to level 70. And I believe at level 75, we are going to unlock the candy world. After that, we only have two more worlds and we are going to be maxed out. But there is also something that I want to check out in today's video that I meant to check out in the last episode, but I got so busy with all of the new units that the video was entirely too long. I couldn't even show off what I wanted to in that video. But anyways, guys, I'm going to grind up to level 70 real quick because whenever we get to level 70, it's going to unlock another slash bundle. And then we're going to roll for the uh units once again this unit roll will probably be gone by that time because he's only safe for an hour yeah there's only 30 minutes left on this one we're not hitting level 70 in 30 minutes so i'm gonna take a cut i will see you guys in one second okay we just left the nether world once again and we are now level 71 which means you guys know what a time it is slash bundles another 12,000 gems or 2,000 clouds bro please i have not taken a look at the unit summon rotations um hopefully it's good and we have a Zoku in there. We don't need that. We have this one. I don't really want this one. And we have an Ice Wizard. Wow. I honestly might just wait until we see an Assassin in there. I'm just going to be real. Um, I do have 78,000 coins. So if I do slash units, I think I just want to level up my Nymph as much as possible. To be honest, that could be a throw. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I think I'm just going to spam kind of all of my coins on this. I did level up my, what's it called off camera, my solar a ton off camera. So if I take a look, um, equip the nymph, my solar is also level 31. My nymph is now level 33. Oh, wait, one thing I haven't taken a look at is the slash crystal shop. Oh my God, bro. There's legendary crystals in there. This rotates in four hours. Oh my God. I already have 22,000 crystals. No, no, no. Oh, dude. Oh, I have figured it out, bro. We are chilling. So we're going to do slash units right here. And we are going to bulk delete some units. Um, don't need any of these jabs right here. You only need one of these. Keep deleting all of these things. Don't need the nymph anymore. All right, let's confirm the lead. And that just got us another 9.4 thousand crystals, which puts us at 31K crystal shop, 64 legendary unit shards. You have received 64X unit shards. We lost 25K crystals. Does it go into your storage? It does. Or wait, oh my God, no, these are trade tokens. Um, 64, bang, hold on. It gave us a legendary. We got a heat, bro. I thought I was low-key going to be able to pick what we got, but uh, that, that clearly was not the case. Okay. I still have 32 legendary shards in here. Okay. Let me go ahead and vote and we're going to spin the wheel one more time. Okay. We're about to vote on like six links. I swear one link you can't vote on, but we are about to get, I think six spins on this where you do have a chance to win 
some more legendary shards all right we only need 32 all right now let's take a look at this wheel six spins on the dot please can we win we need to win legendary shards twice so it is kind of a big ask one off bro we always get one off even in the last episode and yeah guys i cut out every spin we're down to one spin because we got absolutely rinsed this is our last chance right here for some legendary shards and it's not even in like the rotation it's cooked bro un Believable. At least we did get an XP booster. That's not terrible. So it looks like we still have one option. Obviously, I can buy a bunch of gems, do a ton of unit summons, and then keep deleting the trash ones to get more crystals again to buy these from the crystal shop. But I'm going to get to level 80. Actually, we do unlock the candy world at level 75, but I'm going to get another bundle. Then we're going to buy that bundle. Then we're going to roll all of the unit summons with my gems. And then hopefully that'll be enough to get another legendary unit guaranteed from the uh, crystals. Oh my God. And there's an assassin in this one. Oh, that's literally what I need, bro. And I heard an ice wizard is really good as well. Yeah, this is literally just what I need, bro. Okay, let's see how fast we can grind to level 80. I'm not gonna lie, these uh these worlds have been taking quite a long time because I can't do insane difficulty. My units just are not good enough. But yeah, we'll see. All right, we finally just hit level 75, bro. We are leveling up so slow. I'm gonna go to the candy world for the first time ever, and hopefully we can do it first try. Um, we've done a lot of worlds first try. We did this world first try, and this world is actually hard if you're not locked in, bro. I've lost this world so many times so we're gonna go to the candy and see how hard that is but if we can beat it i know it's gonna give us a ton of levels right now because we need the xp buff so boom candy world we're hopping straight into it. i do also have 40k coins again but don't care i'm hopping into the candy world what, what the hell is this bro wait what do i do hold on let's place a solar right here um i guess we'll upgrade him wait no 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 oh they come over there dude i thought that they were gonna come out of this one this one's our shield that we have to protect i'm smoking crack and look bro this solar is just so damn slow like yeah some of these silver fishes are gonna get away this is why i we're not even one shotting rabbits oh this isn't a good look boys this is not a good look in the slightest but they're gonna come full circle back this way so that's actually not horrible if we don't kill everything we just need to get our money up asap so there we go we got another one of these guys down um we don't have the money to level him up i do like that the candy world everything comes full circle oh my god bro and we have 40 waves now okay this could actually get kind of tough because i don't know where i'm gonna set up my zokus and stuff yet so for right now let's just run everything at normal speed am i gonna have to set them up all the way over here i don't really know to be honest with you low-key i guess we could just set them up like right here and then have them shoot down that way because they're all gonna come full circle anyway all right here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna set up a zoku way over here i just need some money to come through bro i need like 300 one more kill bang we'll set one up right here this should do a a little bit of damage and help us for now because dude we are actually getting packed out bro what i don't know how to play this world yet this is not a good look okay if endermites get through it's not the oh but foxes is oh my god brother i actually just got ran through i can't even lie let's try and place a zoku right now to save this world maybe but i'm not sure if it's gonna be entirely savable oh my god bro this world is actually insane i either need to level up my units or i need new units or i need an entirely different strategy all right guys we seem to find something that kind of works for right now i'm on easy or not easy uh normal mode because hard mode right now for me bro i can't do it and still you get way more rewards on normal mode in this world than you do on a hard mode in the nether so i guess we'll kind of take it you guys can see we're kind of farming with this spark i did hear that spark might be getting buffed but look how far this thing is shooting and we have a warden okay i actually don't think this thing is gonna be a problem especially whenever he gets in the range of our azaka i believe it is um which he might already be in range and he is getting smoked because this guy is the max out level now let's max out the spark level or let me get another zoku up a little bit over here bang and then get that up to level four as well and uh, yeah i think we should be fine just like this but we do have to go through 40 waves so i'm gonna keep upgrading our zokus and stuff i'm gonna probably try and max one out max out this spark as well oh my god what the hell is this bro a ghast camo or a camo gas whatever oh my look at how many ravagers dude wait we might actually be cooked I was saving money to max out the Zoku, but I probably should have just placed down another one. Okay, boom. Now this one's maxed out. That was super expensive, 100K. But now, okay, we pushed them back a little bit. I got a little worried. Bro, this world on hard has to be ridiculous. Like, I actually don't even know what I would do. Um, I guess we just upgrade another Zoku over here, start getting that guy going. Low key, might have to place down another Azaka. Yeah, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna place one down right here because it just does so much damage. Boom, there we go. It's already doing 1,400 damage right there. 
and it has fat range on it already. Oh, wait, this is the final wave, bro. I'm tripping, bro. We're good. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's I didn't realize the warden right here was had so much health. So that's a little scary. Um, we can afford that though. Upgrade him. Oh, there's two wardens. Okay, no, no, no. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. That's gonna be the game right there. 1.6 million damage. And wait, I unlocked another bundle. What bundle? Candy bundle. Ooh, bro, 64 legendary unit shards. Thank you very much. I didn't even realize that was a thing. So let's see if we can get ourselves a hit right here. We are going to use these legendary shards, please, bro. I'm begging. Give me... Uh, I said hit as well. I didn't even mean hit. We got another solar. I meant the assassin, bro. Storage, we still have 32 legendary unit shards. I do have 27,000 gems, though. So let's go ahead and roll these because we have five more minutes of this roll. I want the assassin so bad. No legendaries in this roll. Absolutely tragic. And finally, our first legendary right here. Uh, it's a buff. God... Damn it, bro. We already have that. And we only have one more roll after this. Someone let me know what I have to do to get this assassin. No legendaries out of this one either, bro. Oh my god. Okay, let's confirm delete. We just got another 17,000 crystals, bro. We're literally right off of getting another crystal shop buy right here for 64 legendary shards. 500 crystals, dude. If I just do... Oh, I can't even afford that. Wow. Let's spawn this one in. And yeah, bro. I basically deleted everything. Bang. That was worth 600. Oh my God. That was enough. Crystal shop. Buy this again. Please, bro. Storage. We're popping open another one. You guys already know what I want. The assassin. Please. Or the money. Money. Hey, I take that. I absolutely take that. Now, the only problem here is I basically use every single unit in my current setup. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've been sitting here debating. I just don't know what to take out the money for right now. So maybe we'll use it in some later like world or setup. I guess we just go back to grinding, trying to get to level 80, buy the bundle, and then go ahead and see if we can win the assassin. All right, guys, we hit level 80 off camera and in the unit summons, we have ourselves another assassin unit. I might have to start cutting these out because we are getting smoked. I don't know if you guys get bored of the openings, but I am getting this assassin's unit in this episode. All right, if I don't, then I, I don't even know what to say because I am going to open so many units until I pull it. And here we go, legendary. Please be the, the assassin, bro. Be what we need. We're the assassin. We got it. Thank you. Dear God, bro, finally. And I have no clue what I'm even gonna replace it with, to be honest. I might just get rid of Solar, but here we are, the Assassin unit. I've been saving up coins because I knew whenever I got him, I was just gonna level him up as much as possible. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Dumping all of the coins into him. He might not get that high of a level because he was level zero, but I mean, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. He is level 44 out of 60. That is actually extremely good. But now let's go ahead and roll some traits. We're going to try and get a good one on him. I think, bro, if we could get Payday 2 on the Assassin, I feel like that would go crazy. But I know that's like one of the rarest ones you could possibly ever get. Shield, don't want that. Um, Yeah, Critical 1, no thank you. Strength 2, uh, it might not be terrible, but I don't really think it's great either. That boosts his damage up to 25.93. But like, what does he start off with? Doesn't he start off with like 20? We're just going to re-roll it. He has 24.43. So that literally, the Strength 2, gave him like plus one damage not interested also one of his special abilities is whenever your enemies fall under a specific health percentage you completely assassinate them and you can hit up to three enemies at once with this assassin that's why it's so freaking good and again strength two no thanks strength two again okay speed three at least is a little bit better but if it's not master or it's not payday two maybe does this one already have camo vision oh my bro this has camo as well this is literally the most overpowered unit on the server. I am just getting cooked. Holy hell, bro. Give me something good. I'm begging, bro. We are actually getting rinsed right now, dude. Nothing but common traits. Finally, payday one. Do I take it or do I roll something else? Okay, we're gonna take payday one on this and here's what we're gonna do. We have payday one on our Zoku and I already knew having it on Zoku wasn't the greatest, so we're gonna roll something different on Zoku. I don't know what I want. Maybe like a master, like a speed three. This one's assassin. What does assassin do again? Increase the unit. Yeah, nah. I don't really, I don't really care about assassin on a Zoku. This one, we got assassin twice. Oh my god, bro. We are running out of trait rolls. Sniper. Ooh, no, this actually could be good, bro. Increase the unit's range by a hundred percent. I'm gonna roll with that on Zoku for right now because I just literally rinsed all of my traits. I really want payday two on our assassin. But you know what? For right now, we're gonna rock with the payday one. Let's go back into the candy world and try him out. How much does he cost? Is the question. Wait, oh, I forgot to equip him. Oh, yeah, my bad. We're gonna trade him out with the solar for right now. Um, throw in the assassin level 44 dude 
Um, hop back into the candy world. Let's see how much this guy costs. He is 3,000. That is absolutely beautiful. What about his upgrade though? Um, his upgrade, you get an instant kill percent at 5%, but oh, his upgrade is $4,000 and his range is relatively like small. I think for right now, instead of upgrading him, you guys can see though, he is killing these things like instantly right now. And we're going to place another one down right here. Boom. Another $3,000. See if we can hold them off with this. Oh, wait, are these things going to hit like flying mobs? I don't know if they actually will. But right now we do have payday on them. So we're getting a little bit of extra money right here. That's always a great thing. And they do hit flying mobs. Oh my God. This setup could be godlike, bro. Right now, these assassins are holding everything, bro. Everything. Nothing's getting through. These guys are insane. Because before, um, yeah, we would get ran through and then we'd have to wait for the mobs to circle back. Maybe we could do this world on hard mode now. Let's go ahead. We're going to go all the way back here though. And we are going to place down Azoku with now the sniper ability. Definitely loving that because once we place down a buff, this thing should already have insane range, right? So let's go ahead and wait. Boom. Buff him. And then we're going to level him up. His range is now 28. That is insane, bro. We are going to beam these things from all the way over there. If they even get through our assassins, because right now they are not. Oh, Endermites might give us some trouble, but let's go ahead and upgrade this guy's level over here because, uh, yeah, his range. These guys don't need a range upgrade. So we buff this one. And let's also go ahead and get a Sparks unit down. And then we start working on our backline for all of the damage. Yo, I want to try this world on hard now with Payday and this assassin at level 44. I feel like we could really do some damage. I should probably upgrade my sparks unit, bro. It's only level 10. I might be throwing and actually I might put the solars back in because are we going to use nymphs now that we have the assassin or we could replace the nymph with money. Oh my God. Okay guys, I'm cooking right now. Just a fully flawless performance on normal mode, bro. We're going to switch to hard and see how much harder it gets. I know hard is going to be a completely different ball game, but these assassins are entirely too OP, especially with payday. We make a bank. I upgraded all of them to level three. Obviously, they're not going to kill the warden, but the warden doesn't make it very far. You know what I'm saying? Like instantly dead, instantly dead. They're just getting cooked. You guys can see the instant kill abilities right here that are floating up every single time they get a kill. Or not every single time, but you guys know what I mean. Now, we flawless this one. 100 health. Literally no mob made it through. You don't have to flawless hard mode to, you know, make money and stuff and, like, get all the XP. I highly doubt we're going to be able to flawless it. Maybe whenever we get all of our units to the maxed out level, which right now we clearly can't afford. I think I'm going to dump all of my coins we get from this onto Zoku because he is my new favorite one as well with the sniper level 15 only. So definitely want to get that up. So let's go ahead. Slash units, unit leveling right here. Um, we only have 27,000 coins. Oh, I actually have to unequip him. Unequip to Zoku. Unit leveling. Um, yeah. Get as many possible levels as we can we only got him to level 23 not great but i mean it's still an upgrade so i also want to unequip this nymph and we are going to equip the legendary money pet bro this is the full legendary unit setup i've heard leveling up your money unit doesn't actually change anything which is why we saved no coins for it but we're gonna try this hard difficulty we're gonna spawn in i am going to place uh assassin right here and then uh oh yeah his upgrade is 4,000. i forget we'll place another one here yes yeah, some of these are gonna get through but like i said you don't have to flawless this one also how how much is the money? $5,000. Okay. The reason why I place these two assassins right here is because I know some of the mobs are going to get through. So they'll come over here and they get slaughtered by hopefully both of these guys once again. So let's place down our first money unit right here. And if we upgrade them, it's 2,500 and you get an extra $500 per round i'm just testing this one out so i could be absolutely throwing by doing this i don't really know but now let's go back we're gonna keep setting up oh i forgot to upgrade my sparks like at all so i'm just gonna place down the azaka for right now ah now nah, the sparks does reach pretty far and look at these assassins just farm us all of that extra money from payday that is beautiful uh these phantoms do get through them but i mean that's all good not really tripping about that so far we have completely flawless on hard mode. Nothing has hit our shield. Oh my God. So far, bro, we're still doing really good on hard mode, but they just threw out three Ravagers. That is not good. Waiting to upgrade this guy to level five, um, but it costs 50,000. Boom, we can afford it right there. The reason why I didn't do the Soku is because he's 100,000. We can't afford it and we needed to lay down some damage, which we did end up doing. Look at all of these insta kills back here, bro. Insane. We're getting so much extra money from these assassins. If we could get payday too. Oh, bro, I feel like that would be completely game changing. Okay, the mobs are getting a little close, but obviously it's hard mode, bro. It's definitely supposed to be harder. And I just placed out some more Zokus instead of spending 100,000 on one. And I think it's helping so far. I'm 
don't really know all the logistics. Okay, there we go. We pushed all the mobs back. Oh, oh my god. All right, this is endgame. This is the last round right here. Um, I gotta throw 100,000 into one of these Zokus if I can get up to that. I don't know if I can. I kind of just want to, you know, place down more Zokus. Oh, bro. Yeah, this is gonna get close. This is gonna get super close. The warden's gonna die. Hopefully, we kill this gas relatively quick. Yeah, gas already dead, but we have two more wardens. I shouldn't see. I should have just done this, bro. This is what I should have done. We would have been laying down extra damage because 100k to save up to is way too hard, but we just completed that on hard mode. Definitely all because of the assassins because I tried hard mode without the assassins and I couldn't do it. But yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Tower Defense. I still didn't get to get into uh, the thing that I wanted to show off in today's video. So that is for sure 100% going to be in the next episode because we finally got the assassin. In my opinion, one of the best units on the entire server by far. You guys saw I attempted the candy world on hard with the solars and we got absolutely destroyed. Now that was my first time ever trying the candy world. So maybe I could do it now with solars, but the assassins made it a hundred times easier and we can now complete it on hard mode if you guys don't know the difference um hard mode just gives you more coins more xp it's not like a massive massive difference but the coins definitely do help so anyways if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.fadecloud.com and yeah i will catch you guys in the next episode of the tower defense series i'm honestly having a ton of fun on this server